For thousands of years, people have turned to nature to treat their ailments. From nature, we have discovered aspirin, morphine, and penicillin. But these have all come from dry land. As we all know, oceans cover more than 70% of our Earth's surface, and only about 5% of that has been explored. This means that our oceans are a virtually untapped source of pharmacological and therapeutic potential. And I believe that they hold the cure for many of our most devastating diseases. Scientists have recently discovered new antibiotic treatments from sea sponges and memory boosters from jellyfish. But the marine animal that I am interested in is the cone snail. A cone snail is a venomous sea snail that hunts fish, worms, or other snails. Now, you might be thinking, how does a snail catch a fish? Because we all know snails are notoriously slow. <laughs> but the cone snail has evolved to produce a venom in order to stun and capture its faster prey. And a slow snail needs a venom that's going to act very quickly. It is that characteristic that makes the cone snail such an interesting species to study. Their venom consists of a complex cocktail of components that have very potent and specific effect on receptors in our nervous and immune systems. Right now, there is one FDA-approved drug from the venom of cone snails. It is a non-addictive pain medication from, that is a thousand times more potent than morphine. One thousand times more potent than morphine, and it is non-addictive. My goal is to find the next therapeutic to come from cone snail venom. I am doing this by using a well-mapped out neuronal pathway in the brain of the fruit fly. I give the fly a little zap at the top of the pathway, and I monitor the response downstream. You can think of it as something similar as when the doctor taps on your knee to check your reflexes. The doctor is applying a stimulus, and your leg is responding. If I see a change in that downstream response, then I can backtrack what the possible target is that the venom is acting upon based on the type of change I see. Right now, I have one venom component that seems to be affecting neuronal firing. I'm interested in following up on this lead to see what exactly is being targeted and what the therapeutic benefit in people may be. This research could lead to new treatments for diseases such as cancer, addiction, diabetes, or even another chronic pain medication. Thank you.